Throw for Carlisle, and again, it's going to be the long one from Coyote. This time he goes to the top of the area. Mellish heads the ball on. It's an easy gather this time for Haladki, who gets an early shout from Ash Hunter. It's a good throw by Haladki out to Hunter. Down the channel now for Richie Towell. Firm barge in the back by Joe Riley. He's picked up by the linesman on this near side. It will be a free kick for Salford out on the right in a pretty good position. Now defending to do as Torrey whips the crossing from the right into a good area. Comes down for Coots who drills one. And the flat, the referee's whistle's gone. And that one's not going to count. It was a foul as the ball dropped in the middle. And uh, Paul Coots denied what would be, I think it's fair to say, a collector's item for him. <laughs> and a great finish as well. Struck it really well into that far side. Didn't get the greatest view of whether or not it was a foul. Referee seemed pretty short. A few of the Amis protesting it. Anderton, now with the throw taken quickly into Coyote. Back out to Anderton. Captain hooks the cross in. Way by Turnbull, comes down and Tanner, of all people, rifles Carlisle United into the lead against his former club where he didn't make an appearance on loan last season. The ball came out to him just outside the area. It was low, accurate and precise. And it's Salford City nil, Carlisle United won. It was too easy. I think it was too easy from Salford. They let the cross come in. No real pressure on the cross within the clearance. Not great. And there's two of them on the edge of the box, unmarked, unaccounted for. And all it takes from that point is a good strike. And George Shannon just produced that for Carlisle. Straight into the bottom corner. It's a brilliant finish from him. You can see behind me, he's just settling into the game now. And a ropey first. 10 or so minutes and they're just growing into it slowly but surely great footwork by Coots to get away from his man he finds Henderson who's offside as Farman comes out and blocks the shot anyway Henderson just a tad early with his run there though Cots here under pressure it's a good pass into the middle for Easton and Easton marks the right hand side for Bernard Towles racing forward as Bernard sends Patrick out into the dugout and he rolls the ball into low, holding off Mellish. Pass out to Towel on the right-hand side. Towel into Hunter now. Hunter in a more central position. Still going and brings the ball on to Paul Coots. Now it's the left-hand side now for Torre. Looking up to the air, he swings across in. Henderson gets in front of his man. Again, he's flagged offside, but Farman with a great save from near point-blank range to deny Henderson. And it remains 1-0 to Carlisle. That was a fantastic save. I'm not sure if we can still give save of the season considering it was offside, but he, had nothing, he didn't know anything about that. Farman, one hand, one strong hand. Getting plenty of blue shirts, a door in the area. Everybody back defending for Salford. Let's see, try and get the break on if they can. Dickinson's ball towards the back stick. It's headed across by Hayden and saved by Haladki. Just off the line there. It's a powerful header from... The centre back, but Haladki was low, managed to block the effort and it's scrambled clear. Tanner on the right hand side up against Paul Coots. Coots, the stronger of the two, wins possession back, but he's tight on the byline here. Finds a pass to Torre. Torre guides the ball clear. Henderson coming in front of Aaron Hayden. And then in off the touchline, surrounded by three blue shirts, but it's a great ball forward. Jason Lowe in behind here into the area to equalise Palm. Paul Farman comes out, gets the block in. It's not a great clearance though. Henderson over the top into Richie Towell in the area. Coming back, Aaron Hayden gets back, gets it clear. It's wonderful defending from Carlisle. Salford unable to equalise. What a massive, massive chance. Great play, great forward play for me and Henderson. Something we've seen a lot from him as of recent. He's picking the ball up deep and making things happen. Turning into a playmaker instead of a goal scorer. Picks out a great ball to Lowe who... Did well to get in the position, did well to set his feet, but just doesn't find the back of the net. A massive chance for the Amis. Torre into Gotts. Back for Coots. Now Torre quickly into Gotts. Better between them there as Torre's cross comes in. Henderson waiting, gets the header, and Farman again with the save. Didn't really back Henderson for the header there, but he, he gambled. Let the ball come to him and he got plenty of power, but Farman again with the save, pushed it up into the air. Dickinson, surrounded by red shirts and unsurprisingly they come away with the ball. Coots into Henderson, 
hooks the ball out to Hunter on the right hand side. Tows on the overlap as Hunter drags the ball in field. Still coming with Ash Hunter onto his left foot. Shot charged down by Hayden. Now comes to Paul Coots. Back out to Hunter. This time on the left hand side. In for Robbie Gotts in the area. On his right foot. Tries to bend a shot into the far post. And it's just wide from Gotts. Not a bad effort as things go. Bernard deep on the right here, hoiks the ball forward, finds Wilson, laid off nicely for Henderson. Thomas Asante through the middle if he can time his run. Henderson plays it in, Thomas Asante farming out quickly, could still drop for Wilson. Turns on his right foot, equalises and Salford are back in this one. James Wilson with the sort of composure that we love to see from him. And it's Salford 1, Carlisle United 1 and the Amis on level turns with 10 to go. Yeah, and that's exactly what we've been talking about, Will. Exactly what we were alluding to moments ago is that front three on the pitch, the pace that they have, the ability they have to break away if they're given space. I didn't think they would be given much space, but Carlisle got caught trying to go forward and short change at the back and brilliant work from Henderson on that far side. The pass to Asante was exquisite. And with the introduction of Wilson there waiting just behind to put away Wilson on the right, turns past Anderton, looks up into the area, just holds the ball up, feeds it into Gotts. Gotts gets past his man, the cross towards the back stick, Hunter heads it infield, Henderson hits it on the volley, down into the turf and wide for a goal kick. That was a chance. The referee watching gone. Tanner's throw long. Mellish forward into Zanzala. Coots whips it off his feet and forward. Hayden heads away. Mellish in the middle forward. Eastern heads away again. And low in the middle. Brings it down for Hunter. There is the full time whistle though. And Salford City come from behind to earn a point. Might be disappointed with the overall performance. But these are points from behind and against Carlisle, who have got a lot of catching up to do. It could be an important point. Only time will tell with that one. James Wilson, the saviour this afternoon.